All right, we're talking about MR16 beam spreads and, and in general beam spreads. What a beam spread is, one of the most common things not understood by people that are not in lighting, but a beam spread is this or this or this. It's the direction that the light is pushed out. So we have narrow beam spreads like this and we have wide beam spreads like this. Then we also have some bulbs like an A19, a traditional incandescent light bulb that throws light everywhere. It's basically a 360 light. But when we're talking about MR16s, when we're talking about PAR lamps, we're talking about beam spreads. And the beam spreads usually are going to be a spot, a narrow flood, a flood, or a wide flood. So wide flood can be real wide. It can be 40 degrees or more, 55 degrees sometimes. And a narrow spot can be 12 or 15 degrees, sometimes narrower. And in between that, we want beam spreads in MR16s because we use it oftentimes for art lighting. And when you're throwing from the fixture to the art, you'll be able to control that light and get it to create a pool of light that's equivalent to that piece of art or use two of them to overlap or three or four but you want to use beam spreads to light up the art but not light up the wall so that's why this bulb the MR16 is so magical about that because it has a lot of beam spreads as well as intensities as well traditionally we had a 20 35 and a 50 watt equivalent or or an halogen and now when we have LEDs we generally are looking at about a 35 watt LED version and a 50 watt LED version which is about 10 watts so again when we're talking LED we're talking less a lot less energy than the halogen we're talking about the same series of beam spreads in general